just look here at these beautiful views. I'm on vacation in the Smoky Mountains, and we are staying up here on top of Hatcher Mountain. Um, it's in the Wares Valley area of like Sevierville, Pension, Forge, Tennessee. Uh, you can see down here they had a wildfire here. Maybe it was last spring. Um, you can see some green vegetation there, but you see how close, like this is the deck of the cabin and see how close it came to the cabin. You can see the burn marks on the trees. You can see um, how some of the leaves have already fallen, probably because they didn't come back out real good yet. And you see a little bit of color and you see the sun peeking out over there. Uh, it's getting ready to set. But it's just so beautiful. There, you can see the other mountain range across from there. Um, and it's just so beautiful. I could just really live up here. So, so beautiful. And the fire just did so much damage, though. So many homes up here have been destroyed. All right, I guess on to the cooking. All right, guys, hope y'all enjoyed this view. Well, I know I said let's get to cooking, but I made that video of the mountains yesterday evening and this morning before I actually um, I'm going to do the cooking this afternoon. I came out here and just look at this beautiful view this morning. It's about 8.30 in the morning. And look at this beautiful view. Do you see how it is over the ridges? That's why they call these the Smoky Mountains. It's just so, so beautiful. You see all that fall coming up. Just so beautiful. All right, now we'll get to the cooking. Hello everyone, welcome back. Tonight I'm going to be making you a chicken and rice uh, dish, casserole, whatever you want to call it. Um, as I said a little bit earlier, I am here uh, on vacation in the mountains with my daughter. And so the first thing we want to do is we want to, and I'm gonna bring you down, we, we want to take some rice a or, you know, it doesn't have to be this brand, it can be any brand. And we're going to cook it according to the directions. And the directions say we take two tablespoons of butter. Let me turn the skillet on here. And we are going to melt that butter some. It's just melted a little bit. And then we will, I want to get my skillet here coated real good first. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the rice and pour that in. If I can ever get the box open. Maybe a little bit more so you can see a little bit better. I'm sorry about that. My finger always hits that camera. Okay. We're going to pour that in there. And we want to just brown it just a little bit. And after it's browned, we will add in the sauce pack and two and a quarter cups of water. And uh, we will let that come to uh, just a moment. But you want, you want, if you never use this, you want to stir this while it's browning, you want it on probably about medium heat. And I don't know exactly what the directions say. Yeah, they say medium heat. And you, the butter is going to continue to melt. And then you want to stir it and you just want to kind of brown it just a tiny bit. So once we get it browned, what we're going to do is we are going to put in the uh, 
seasoning mix in the water, and then we're going to bring it um, up to a boil, and then once it starts boil, we reduce it down to simmer and simmer it for about uh, 15 minutes or so, just until the rice is, you know, cooked, all the water has been absorbed. And once that is finished, I will bring you back. All right, y'all, I'm back. Let me go ahead and uh, turn you down so you can see. Um, try and get this backwards where you can see that good. All right, so the first thing, um, I put the rice aroni in the bowl, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I took a rotisserie chicken and um, that, you know, I just bought at the store. It's already been cooked. Took it off the bone and just kind of chopped it up a little. And you add that to the rice -roni. Then next you want to add a can of cream of mushroom soup. You could use cream of celery, cream of chicken, actually just whatever your preference is. So we're going to add that and how are y'all doing this evening here it is rainy and dreary very rainy and dreary here um we are we're kind of between i think pigeon forge and Sevierville, tennessee right now and it's just rainy and dreary it's really chilly it's been that way just about since we've been here. All right, next I want to use eight ounces of sour cream, and this is a 16 ounce container, so I'm going to use half of it. And I'm thinking um, I may need a bigger bowl because I like to have plenty of room when I start. Let me get a different bowl. And transfer all of this to that. All right. One thing about these uh, here at these things. You never have everything you need, all of your utensils and everything. All right, so I'm gonna put in about half of this container here since I want eight ounces. Now next, I want to um, just stir this all together real good. Actually, I think I want to put some pepper in it if I can find the pepper. I did not get that out beforehand. Scarlett, do you know where the pepper is? On the stove. Okay, I'll get it. I would actually add some garlic powder to this my, uh, myself, um, if it were me, but we didn't get any of that or, because to me, garlic makes everything taste better. And there's plenty of salt in the sour cream and rice roni, so unless you just want a lot of salt, it really doesn't need it plus other ingredients that we're going to put in. Looks like there's a chunk, chunk of chicken there that didn't get broke up good. So we want to stir this up really, really good. Just a moment, I need to. <coughs> All right. Get 
get that sour cream and soup mixed up really, really good in there. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some French fried onions and that, it all depends on taste. So, we're gonna put some of those in there. Crunch some. Add a couple of handfuls. Stir that up. Just a few more inside there. All right, then you're going to take a nine by 13 pan. Yeah, and with that, you want to spray it lightly um, or grease it some way. Since we didn't have any cooking spray here, I just we did have some butter, so I just put a little bit of butter around it. spatula so I can get every bit out. I never to waste anything. And I just drop a couple little pieces on the counter but I'm not going to pick those up and put them in there for sure. And though we wiped it off and cleaned it off, you just never know, especially when you have little children around because you never know if they've touched that counter or not. Okay, and right, and just spread it all out in your dish. And I have never done it, but I am pretty sure that you could probably, you know, cover this real good and freeze it and bring it out and cook it later, let it thaw out, or start it out without preheating the oven and cook it that way. Um, I, what I would do if I wanted to freeze it, I would lay um, some saran wrap down on top of this there, and then I would cover it real good with a, um, some tin foil. That would probably work really good. And then stick it in the freezer. All right. Let me get some cheese because everything's better with cheese, isn't it? We're going to cover it with some cheddar cheese, some shredded cheddar. I can get this open. Let me get a knife. Well, put the cheese on. Okay, that should be good. Spread out a little bit more. Then you want to put some more of the French fried onions on top of that. Sprinkle them around.
All right, then you're going to pop it in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll bring it back when I bring it out of the oven and let you look at it. All right, be back in a moment. All right, I just took it out of the oven and this is what it looks like when it's finished cooking. And we will taste test in just a moment. I'll be back in just a moment. All right, this is my daughter, Scarlett. She's going to taste test for us. Scarlett, go ahead. You tell us if it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down, what you think. That's definitely a thumbs up. It's really good. Okay, good, good. All right, y'all, there you have it. Now, don't forget about the giveaway. Uh, you know, every time you share this, you're entered to win a $25 Amazon gift card once I get up to 100 subscribers. Now, one more thing I want to say is if you like this video, make sure you uh, give it a thumbs up, you share it, and if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And remember to always season your cooking with love. I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.